Hello, you guys! My name's Timster from Tim Foolery Gaming, and we're back with more Fancy Star Online! This time, it's gonna be the real deal. We're jumping into Forest. We're gonna explore Forest 1, Forest 2, and figure out the secrets that lie within. Figure out what's going on, what's with all the animals, like, going berserk, attacking humans, or otherwise. <laughs> and... Yeah, we're just gonna flat out explore. I may or may not skip Forest 1 since we've seen so much of it already and might just jump straight into Forest 2. If I do, there's gonna be a jump cut. If I don't, well, you're in for the ride with us. <laughs> and before I go in, I am gonna take note that I'm bringing a Scape Doll just in case because there's no telling what's gonna happen when we go in here. It's only us. We're going in alone. No extra help. So, here we go. So I decided I'm not going to skip Forest 1 after all. I was thinking about it, but here's the reason. I mean, we're going to go through as much of Forest 1 as possible, just kind of quickly make our way to Forest 2. But there is actually a story that goes along with all of this, and here's the first part of it. Ah, testing, testing. Uh, this sounds like me before I start recording. I'm Rico, Rico Tyrell. I'm a hunter. This capsule is for anyone looking to... Wow, <clears throat> This capsule is for anyone who has come here looking for me. I hope this helps you. I don't know who you are, but you must know that there's something unusual about Raggle. This is important. Pay attention to everything around you if you want to survive. And that person is not joking. Not entirely, anyway. We don't have to pay attention to everything, but it's basically saying be aware of your surroundings because you never know what's going to jump out at you. And there may or may not be subtle clues as to what's going on next. And right down here is the second part. Now, these aren't going to be in, like, chronological order, I don't think. So, while this is the next one we found, it might not necessarily be the next part of the story. But, let's go ahead and check out this capsule. What made the animals become so violent all of a sudden? They weren't before. They were very quiet and friendly. There must be some cause. I'll find it. I know I'm a fool. This won't make me any richer. Perhaps that's why I'm exhausted by them. <laughs> Red Ring Rico. <laughs> but I'm not really the great hunter citizens say I am. They needed a hero, and I just happened to fill that position. Yeah, so apparently uh, Rico Tyrell came to this planet, first and foremost to just explore it, and second, to figure out what's going on with the local wildlife, why they've gone so berserk. Like we found out in the last quest, there must be some kind of genetic altering event that took place here. And all the animals used to be quiet, maybe not friendly, but they weren't this hostile either. So something happened that drastically changed their genetic coding. So now they are mutating and very, very hostile and very violent. We just don't know what it is yet, and I believe that's what Rico took off to figure out what was going on. Disable the laser fences by using- Yeah, we know how to do that. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so that wasn't much of a story, just a uh, general tutorial, I guess. And here's another part. Don't show your back to a savage wolf. It'll attack if it sees this opening. Yeah! Thanks for the late warning. We kind of discovered that on accident. Whoa! I was not paying attention. That's like I get for looking at my phone. Die! Okay, I'm sure there. Oh, now nah, let's clear out these enemies. I'm sure there's more uh, capsule story things around here. So I'm gonna take a quick look. If I find any more, we'll cut to them. If not, we'll just cut straight to Forest Two. Oh, and there's another one right here. Wow, bodies of dead animals. We hunters sometimes use firearms, but this? They were killed by firearms that are much stronger than ours. Um, that's concerning. So, something else is here killing them, is what you're saying? I don't like that. Alright, we're in Forest 2, finally. And we got another message. A disaster occurred. Things were shaking. Then something broke through the surface. And then it exploded in the central dome. I don't know what to say. For seven years, we've tried to adjust and improve the environment. 
What was it? Was it related to the accidents we've had recently? Alright, so basically, something happened at the Central Dome that caused the explosion. That's for sure, which we can see right over there. And to top it all off, that seems to have... Ooh, we got level up. That seems to have caused whatever the crap is going on around here with... Oh, God. With all the wildlife. Whatever exploded, or whatever caused the explosion, is what's causing all the animals around here to go berserk, mutate, and attack anything that's not them. <sighs> oh! And they just keep on coming! Alright, so our next destination is actually right over there. And I'll explain more what that is when we get to it. Assuming we can get to it. So it looks like we're gonna have to take the long way around. There were a few other doors, that one over there, and there's one back behind us from the first area we arrived in. The doors were completely locked. It's forcing us to go the long way around. But that's not a problem. We know where we're going, we know how to get there. So we're in absolutely no hurry to reach our destination. Just to be on the safe side though, we're gonna hit that button. And we're gonna read this capsule here. Thank you, we know about that already. Thank you though, I'm glad you could tell us this helpful information we already knew. Thanks! Alright, normally I would go left here, but I honestly want to clear this forest area. Not really as soon as possible, but I just don't want to take any unnecessary detours, except for maybe the small area here. But otherwise, I want to make a kind of a beeline straight for the end. Oh god. <laughs> for the uh, end area. So we can get our answers and figure out what's going on in this forest. Looks like we gotta clear out the animals here first, but we've taken on these wolves before. They're nothing too threatening. But as you guys might be worrying about if you're anything like me, there is our very ape-like friend who just appeared. Now it's only us, but maybe we have the power to take him down. And... Ah, he's not going down easy. Oh, he went down! Nice! We got some extra try, mate. And I'm gonna explore just a little bit, but we'll be right back. Okay, so let's go right... Oh, more enemies. Was not expecting a brawl. Ow, how dare you hit me? That was a critical, too. Jeebus. These things are vicious. Anyway, let's go ahead and read this capsule. I heard that this tall wow. I heard that this tall column was built to commemorate the immigration of Pioneer One. But it may just be me, but it doesn't look very new. And these patterns, aren't they characters? So you know what? I was gonna explain what this tower does, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. I know what it does, so the mystery there isn't really too mysterious, I guess. But it's, it is vital that we hit this, kind of activating it like that. And now we can go on and hopefully find our way around here and try to get to the end to solve this forest mystery. Oh, here he comes. Oh boy. Not much distance. But we keep it up. Just keep staggering him. And now we run for it. Yeah. Alright. Turn around. Fire. Oh, I didn't aim right. No, bear. No, 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 no. Are you... You shot a fireball at me. I don't think so. Only I can do fireballs and mine are better. Well, not really, but okay. Oh, and good thing I went to uh, open those chests, or boxes, or whatever, because... Pioneer One may have damaged the ecological system in Raggle before we were aware of it. So the native creatures tried to remove the invaders. That's one supposition. But what about the explosion? I need more information. I have to go do some research. So, in other words, 
it's possible just us landing here is what caused all the animals to go berserk and just start attacking. We were the alien invaders and they were trying to remove the foreign, you know, entities. But that still does not explain the explosion as Rico suggested. Wait, did, did I just hear Boomas? I did! What the crap? Okay, let's go over here. And quickly turn around. Ah, this is bad. Those are level twos. It's okay, though. We can get rid of them. Quickly. Got it. Now we can focus on that nest, I hope. Alright. Keep it going. Short, sweet, simple bursts. Come on, don't spit out another. I don't care if I'm doing low damage as long as you don't spit out another. That's all I care about. And... Nailed him. Cool. But what's next? Those boxes, they're next! I don't know, something appeared. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, Rappies! Whoa! No, oh, I missed! Don't hit me, bro! Don't hit me, bro! Don't hit me, bro! Restraining order shot! Stay away from me! Cool! And got ya! What? Oh, uh, okay. And got ya! Ooh, I'm at 77% uh, photon blast. So we're doing alright. Oh, no. That's fine. We can do this. We did it. Oh, Wolfie. It's alright. As long as we don't get any more of those monkey things right up here. Monkey, gorilla, ape, bear thing. It's hard to believe these things are native to this planet. This is horrifying. And what's this? No, it won't open. It might be easier to look for another way to get in. And that is that square gate right there. But before we do, I'm gonna blast these boxes. And I'm gonna do one of two things at this moment before we go in. First things first, I'm going to drop, whoops, <laughs> I'm going to drop, yeah. Uh, let's see, telepipe right here, then we're going to go back, heal up, drop another portal, and then go right in. Alright, so, with this setup, I still have the scapegoat, or the scape doll, whatever. When I die, that doll dies instead, and I can keep fighting from that point on. Now, if I die after losing the Scape Doll, I go back to Pioneer 2. But, with this portal in place, I don't have to go through the entire area just to come back to this spot. I can just teleport straight here and continue the fight. It will start all over again, but I, I'll take whatever I can get. So right now, let's go under the dome. What is? Oh! Okay! This explains a thing or two, or five. God, I hope I, I hope we're ready for this. Oh, we've got power boost, so cool. So the goal of this boss fight is to aim for the head. Ow, that hurt. And try our best to like not get hit as difficult as that's gonna be. Oh boy. We're already off to a very very rough start. Oh! Try to get underneath it, maybe. As you might have noticed, even though this is a boss fight, there is no HP meter for it. Oh, nice! We got to the ground. Alright, use up everything we got. But yeah, bosses and enemies alike don't have HP meters, so we have no idea how close to death this thing is. All I know is we're gonna keep shooting until it's dead. We're not close yet, but we will be. Oh god, he's gonna stop on me. Yeah, the further away you are from the head in terms of 
what you're actually shooting at, the less damage you'll do. So we gotta try to aim for the head as best as we can. Now this guy is not gonna make it easy. Oh no, fireball! No, at this point I'll just take whatever I can hit. Ow! Not what I meant! Just kneel before me, dragon! Or just stand right in front of me. Maybe this will work. Oh, he's raging. He is not happy with me right now. Let's see. If memory serves, his next move is... To dive into the ground. Oh, don't run! Don't... Uh, now we have no idea where he's coming from. Oh, boy. That's right. Don't even go near me. Don't even look at me. Don't even sense me. Oh, jeez. Okay. Just keep an eye on that mini-map. Where are you coming from, big guy? Oh, oh! Yeah, that hurt. Uh, and here he comes. It's always dive into the ground, try to attack me three times, and then he comes back to the surface for an additional punishment. I got a feeling we've almost got him. Anytime he rages like that, or when he starts to, he's usually like half health. So we're doing okay so far. Just gotta keep your distance. And are you gonna dive? You're not diving? Why aren't you? Oh, there you are. Let's see what it looks like when he appears. Oh, oh! <laughs> yeah! Uh, I kind of like it, because it looks cool with the whole, uh, distorted effect with the ground. Oh, God! Uh, it looks cool, but holy crap does it hurt. Now, where's it gonna come from? Good, not on top of me. As you may have saw for a quick second, he does leave lava pools in his wake. So it's important to just keep moving and watch where he appears, and move out of his way. And we got him! Nice! <sighs> Man, the first time, especially the first time in a while, is always stressful. You get decent experience from him, though, so I can't complain. And for beating him, we get a Star Atomizer. And a couple somewhat decent treasures. Alright, so after we uncovered all the treasures, or all the loot that's left behind... We can take this portal back to Pioneer 2, and we report our findings to the chief upstairs, I believe. What do you got for us, Mr. Principal Guy? Talk to me. The... the dragon? Did it attack you? You think the native animals on Raggle attacked Pioneer 1 to defend their territory? It's possible, but why did it happen all of a sudden? I mean, how long have we been on Raggle to begin with? Were we here for a couple of years and then this happened? Or did it build up over time, we just didn't notice it? You're not being very, uh... You know, you're not very, being very perceptive here, dude. Continue investigating, please! Don't tell me what to do! Alright, so now that we've explored all of the forest area and defeated that dragon... We have access to the Cave 1 area. But aside from that new addition, if we go straight to the Hunter's Guild, because we open up a new area, and even though this area was just discovered by us just now, let's see. Yep. Well, we got another mission for the forest, but we got a few more missions for the cave, despite the fact the cave just recently opened. So, you know, go figure. I guess that's how it works in space. But, before we explore, explore the Cave 1 area, I'm going to end this episode here, because we completed the Cave area, or the uh, Forest area. <laughs> the Cave area is going to be much bigger, much more vast, a little more difficult to explore and navigate, but it's going to be just as fun, with a few more quests in the Forest area. So hopefully, if you guys really like this video, you'll enjoy the Cave area when we eventually start digging our way through there on our own personal exploration. For right now, though, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you did, please go ahead and give this video a like. If this is your first time coming to the channel and you like this video, check out my others, subscribe if you like it, subscribe if you even like the other videos, and thank you guys so much for showing us all, all the support. As always, let's see here. My name's Timster from Tim Foolery Gaming, and we'll see you guys later. Take care.